The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart here of a stock called ZS. A gentleman from, I believe, New York, uh, it was one of those 50 states, uh, called in on Monday asking about this. It was trading at 312. And uh, all I said was the maximum profit on this would probably be at the 1.618 retracement expansion at uh, 320 and you can see it hit it today and now it's nine dollars lower so I hope that gentleman paid attention to it once in a while these things uh, pop up and work pretty good but that's neither here nor there what we're going to do this morning is we're going to look at the European market uh, we're going to look at the UK and the FTSE and a few other things and I also want to go through the FANG stocks also there's something interesting is happening at internet interactive brokers uh, they no longer take stops on cryptocurrencies I'm surprised they did even then so let's uh, keep an eye on uh, what they're doing over there. But uh, they're getting pretty volatile, as always, as they continue to do. Okay, let's go across the pond over here. First, we're going to take a look here at the FTSE. 877-927-6648 if you would like to call in. You'll notice here that we did make new highs. We completed the big ABCD up there from the one way back in July. Uh, that uh, completes it. And uh, we did go right up to it. We're now trading a, a little bit below it. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is the uh, German DAX, I believe. Let me, if I can find it, and I know I've got it here somewhere. And here it is. Let's get this up here. Now, you see, this is also has completed some uh, nice little ABCD patterns uh, right up here. We're also backing off a little bit there. And the other one that uh, he's that uh, Alan was kind enough to send us was this one here, and we're going to cover this one uh, in depth a little bit later on uh, tomorrow. And that is the uh, the crude oil chart. This is the long term uh, daily. We've been waiting for a top to come in on the crude. We think we've hit it, but uh, still it could still possibly make a slightly higher high uh, one more time. Okay, now that covers what we were looking at over there. Now I wanted to. Uh, talk just a second here about the coffee because if you remember Mr. Z was talking about the coffee and I wanted to bring this up to show you what happened because we did get down to that ABCD pattern we were looking for right there at 195 you can see that down that upsloping trend line if you look at those higher bottoms folks each one of those is a Fibonacci retracement it's uh, do the work yourself as Twentyman says defy human nature if you pull this down you'll see you got a perfect 61 percent retracement there uh, on October the 11th we had one here on Monday and now we've had a big move up and right now we're consolidating uh, that big run up we had yesterday from 195 up to 209 so that that's a pretty explosive move out of coffee folks so uh, any move now below 195 would certainly turn the turn the trend down and uh, but right now it doesn't look like anything's in the way of that uh, going any higher now we've got a couple of things that we brought to your attention here on Monday uh, I think they're I think they're relatively important I'm going to bring it well just because I think it don't mean much for most take a look at it here this is the Dow Jones industrial average itself you notice that we are looking at a, th a three drive pattern there with multiple ABCDs all over the place well that folks came within six points of the exact high I don't know if that's the high or not all I can tell you is it came within six points of that now what we do is we try to mesh the longer term uh, charts with the shorter term because the shorter term is where you put your your trade on if you remember yesterday before the market opened just as the show was starting i posted this chart of the abcd in the uh uh, S&P mini S&P the high was uh, 4590 we were saying 4588 I'm sorry I missed that one that one didn't work anyway it sold off all the way down to 4558 yesterday and uh, 
whether that 30 point drop will mean anything or not we have to uh, we have to wait and see how we're looking at some of these things so i hope that helps Okay, now I've got one other one that I wanted to mention that I thought was pretty important because uh, we, we've, uh, we, we mentioned it in, in, in a very, very profound way, I thought. <laughs> well, what <are> we... <laughs> Shut the front door. All right, me using big words like profound. They never use words like that in Indiana. Are you kidding me? Look at this uh, red box, folks. This was from the newsletter, but I, I wanted to show you here. This is a three-drive success to rally. We rallied Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we've had a four-day rally. The last time we had a four-day rally, we were started back down again. So uh, that that this basically is that three-drive pattern said we're probably going to get a rally. And the bonds hit. Uh, made a higher high than that let another high at 60 160 uh, 11 we got as high as 160 14 so i'm just looking at shorter term patterns to give you guys a rough idea of what i try to do here because uh i don't really look at fundamentals at all i i'm getting less and less interested in looking at the uh let's do this dow jones one here because there's another one in here that's pretty good here Put this up here. 877 Just forget it. I know you're not going to call in. You know the number. I'm not going to bother you. Anyway, uh, this is that same Dow Jones Industrial Chart just updated. I didn't update it through today, but we did get up there just, just shy, slightly below that uh, 36,000 level to see if that's uh, you know, that's just a three-drive pattern is all it is. And believe me, one explosive day, you could easily do this. Now, I haven't updated this. But I understand, and I wanted to, uh, we'll, we'll double check it a little bit later, but the Dow Jones transportation actually went up and made a new high. Now, it should have stopped here on Monday, and I, I'll do that. Let's just do that right now, boys and girls, since we're here having a little little bit of fun. Let me get this moving on here. Oh, boy. Have to, all right, one second. Here we go now. We're going to look at the DIYT because I think it's important enough because that is a big one, and with all these problems we're having with containers and all that other stuff. Uh, oh, no. Oh, is it DY? Oh, wait, wait just a second here. Wow, I can't find it. It's IYT. Just one second, boys and girls. I. Oh, I'm the wrong. Am I wrong? I've got to get back to Commodity Quote Graphics. Hold on a second. Ah, uh, there we are. Let me get this up here and see where we are. Sure enough, uh, ooh, it's close. Let's just get this up here to see how close it really got to. Nah, these guys are so full of baloney. Ah, uh, there's a perfect example of fake news. Ah, uh, this really upsets me. I don't trade the transportation. Hell, nobody does. It's an index. They trade the stocks inside of it. They had all kinds of things yesterday about the... Uh, Dow Jones transportation making new highs. And as you can see here, by looking at this, we did not make new highs. All we did was go up to the 78% retracement. That's all we did. So that was uh, that was uh, total baloney. So uh, remind ourselves of uh, what we're doing here. Right now, we're at a really important point in the stock markets, folks. So pay attention here because we could turn down at any moment. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I've talked to you about hogs before. We watched uh, very closely on Monday the importance of that 73 level, and it just didn't work. I posted it there. You can see we've gone below uh, 73. That's about as close to risk control as you can possibly get, folks. I mean, it was really a spot where you didn't have to risk very much to see if you were right. And that certainly happened to be one of those times. But uh, I think it's important to realize that these patterns, uh, they're there for risk control. That's what they're there for. And use that because when they don't work, you know, you want to stand aside. And one of the questions that we had uh, over the evening was how do you know when they when they start to fail two things you can use because they are so accurate and i mean very accurate and i'll give you a perfect example of what we're talking about right now with this s p where it's trading right now about four points higher would turn this uh uh pattern uh, interday pattern bullish that's how that's how close uh, we're trading at uh, uh, roughly 45.68. If you saw a 45.74, that would change the interday pattern from bearish to bullish. That's how accurate the patterns are. Let's get back to this now. I want to show you the copper. Someone's asked a question about the copper. So we'll come up here and we'll take a quick look at copper here. In fact, we're going to take more than a quick look. You'll notice here uh, in copper, we had a high here uh, last week at 484. We've now dropped 40 cents a pound, and it looks like we're coming into a 61% retracement at 432 a pound. That's where I would first take a look at it. But there's two numbers there. There's a 78% level of the low on the 20th of September, and you have to go back to the 20th of August to get that one. So that tells you the main support is not really at 432. It's at 428. So I think that's where you want to be watching it. Now, tr copper is a tremendous trading vehicle, folks. Now, I'm not going to go through ABCDs with you here because you guys get a little bit tired of that stuff. But uh, if you would just take a look at this, and uh, you'll notice here, uh, you can see the little ABCDs all the way down. Now, this is only the last four or five days. You can also go to an hourly chart, and you can see it even clearly. Some of them we've already done. You'll notice here that we've made the price objective of the one we talked about here on Monday. Whoa, just a second here, boys and girls. 
Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn is having a little trouble with the allergies today as I had a really clear day yesterday, but today it's again getting me. You'll see here we've completed those smaller ABCDs. That last one you see where the red uh, thunderbolt is, that's the key one because that's the 382 retracement. And that gave you a profit objective of uh, 441. Uh, we're trading at 440 right now, but you can see, let's just blow this up so we can give this young man that was nice enough to uh, call in. We'll just draw one of these other ones in so that he can see them, and you'll be able to get a pretty good idea of what we do here at uh, TFNN. And remember now, we're looking at the uh, – I've got – uh-oh, hold on a second. Uh, all right. Move this down here a little bit here. All right. Just give me a second here. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay. Uh, let me – put this chart up to show you what we're watching here all right now the reason why now this is an hourly chart okay now the reason why i'm showing you that each time we've had a rally and this is where the time factor comes in if you're trading intraday you want to be able to count the times the mar the the rally lasts at anywhere between five and ten bars so if it repeats itself, rallies for five hours one time, it'll repeat it again five hours another time. So that last five-hour rally that you see there that came at 451, that was a 382 retracement of the five-hour rally that happened on two days previously. So that gives you the fact that you're coming down to match that uh, price objective of 440. Well, we went all the way down to 437 today, and of course we backed up, backed up a little bit to 440. So that's what you want to do when you trade copper. Copper trades really great, folks. The problem is that uh, you know the swings in copper are huge. You know, 15, 20 dollars uh, per pound, uh, you know, or cents per pound is uh, you know you're talking serious money there. So what you've got to do is you've got to go to an hourly chart, so you don't have to risk more than two cents, which is 500 dollars. So I hope that helps. Now you want to you want to see a market that is rocking and rolling, folks. This is the one that uh, this is the one that the people that like to trade <laughs> that like to trade. Uh, raise your hands, Ellie. Uh, let's get up here a second here. Look at look at this. This is this has got to be called the pork bellies of the commodity markets now, folks. And we call them pork bellies because pork bellies, uh, you know, that was the underside of the hog bacon. And uh, traded regularly for many, many years. And for some reason, I don't know, I traded them every day. But uh, that was it. Uh, anyway, you'll, you'll notice here, uh, you can see the ABCD pattern here. You don't have to be a rocket science. Well, you know, let's let the rocket science do their own thing. What, do you, what am I talking about here? Get it up here so we can see it right there. Hold on just a second. I'll just draw the whole damn Gartley in just a minute. Uh-oh. Use the OD word. There's the ABCD. Okay, there's where we are. All right, now we're getting this up here to take a look at it. This thing is swinging a big stick. We had a move this morning. We got down to a 50% retracement, which was also an ABCD move on the shorter term pattern of all day yesterday. We had a high of uh, 605. We came down to uh, 588. That's $1,800. And from there, we went straight up. Uh, three thousand dollars to uh, six twenty hit the exact six twenty number, and now we've been backing them off uh, ever since that time. So that's where these ABCD patterns come from. But the whole thing is here now. If this thing went above six twenty two, that was telling you that that ABCD swing was probably light. Now the first thing you can look for, besides the time factor, is how quickly did it get to the target that you were looking at or how quickly did it get to point D? If it got to point D really quickly, that's okay, but it's got to stop. And that's exactly what happened here at that ABCD. It stopped. And, uh, you know, if it keeps going just a little bit higher, that tells you the expansion is going to go. That's what just happened on that hourly chart on copper, okay, because it should have stopped at uh, – you know, 441, but it went all the way down to 437. That's a $1,000 move against you if you wanted to stand in front of that. And uh, I don't think that's a smart thing to do, but that's neither here nor there. So those are the few things that you want to learn to do. We cover these things in the uh, 
the day trading course we're going to have here on November 10th with uh, Tom Hugard. Tommy Terrific is going to be on the air with me and doing some trades. And we're going to be doing some other trades. And we'll hopefully uh, have a day like we had yesterday or today it would be nice because those are the kind that line up pretty nicely. I hope that uh, answered the question in the copper. That was an email question coming in. So we'll be able to look at it. Okay. Well, we did hold that number. We did start down in the stock market. I can't tell you the secret why I did that, folks or how I even knew that, I guess I was just really lucky. And I get lucky more than more and more as I get older. All right. You want to know how I did it? Nah, you don't. You don't know you really want to know. Okay, let's move on here. Another question is about the – oh, we got a break coming up. Something special after the break, folks. been promising this for a couple of days. We are going to go – to the land of the NASDAQ when we finish here at the break and we're going to talk about the FANG stocks and we're going to look at every single one of them. We'll be right back folks. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I, <clears throat> just to show you what I was looking at in the stocks here with the S&P because we're at a critical level here. Uh, the reason why I've watched is the fact I posted the chart, a 15-minute chart of the NASDAQ over you know, the last range and the fact that it's up here testing the 78% level at uh, 15,660, uh, 15, uh, 670, somewhere in that ballpark. But you can see that the, the S&P is lagging uh, today. It's trading at 4566 so going back to the old adage you know sell the weakest but the reason why i look at that is those those indices are traded by these algorithmic traders and believe me folks they use these numbers uh <laughs> Because if you break out above that 15,670 in that NASDAQ, that thing is probably going to rally. And do we have a caller in here? We've got Jeff uh, from New Jersey. Yes, sir. What can I help you with, Jeff? Uh, hi, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I wanted to ask if you have found that there are certain uh, times of the year or a number of times a year where – uh, the Gartley and the uh, the butterflies have a much lower <clears throat> success rate. Uh, no, I haven't found that. No, I, I've uh, no. They're 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 they work all the time. They don't work every time, but they work all the time. You see the difference? Because you know yeah, you're, you're going to get you're saying. You're, so yeah, you're saying okay, there's, there's no, not any no, kind of no, uh, seasonality no in the air. No. No, there's no seasonality in any of these. And believe me, I don't think there's anybody that looks at charts. Uh, more than I do, except computers, and they, they certainly do that. But, no, there's nothing there uh, that, you know, watch it during October, November, whatever. No, there's nothing like that. I've not found that. It, Jeff, that doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that I haven't found it. But I, I haven't certainly seen that at all. And I start, you know, I, I watch 15-minute and 30-minute because those are the ones that give you the smallest amount of risk. But the profitability is still high, and your your uh, per percent of winning is uh, is the same. That's why that floor trader handbook, it, it went over thousands of trades in the euro over a long period of time. I mean, I think we had 20 years in there. And uh, there was there, you couldn't find any sequence of where there would be long stretches where the Gartley would fail. It would have three or four failures, and then it would have eight or nine in a row. Do you know what I mean? So you, you just don't know yeah. which ones. Uh, this is why if you take the advanced trading course that I have, I've found a formula where you don't take the losing trade. See, so that that's really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go sign up for that right away. Unfortunately, Jeff, the last one was sold out right before the show started today, so you'll have to wait. That's just my luck. <laughs> ah, yeah, you're pretty lucky as it is. Okay, I well, uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, that was a very clear answer. Okay, well, a clear answer is better than no answer at all, or something that's fake news. Boys and girls, we are going into the realm of the of the Fang stocks today, and here's where we go. Just give me one second. I've got to get I got a whole thing set up for you that I think will work all right. We'll be able to do them one at a time, and we'll start out with none other than Mr. Tesla, and we'll get this up here, and we'll we talked about these yesterday, but I want to just go over them again just to show you where we are. Okay, here's Tesla, and we talked about the explosive move. We almost hit 1,000. If you remember, the 1.618 that we talked about came in at 1,020. You'll notice here uh, it was down. It had a big hanging man yesterday. Uh, no, that's a shooting star. Had a, had a big shooting star where it uh, dropped over 100 bucks. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to a 15-minute chart. And what you're going to see now, here's the 15-minute chart on, on uh, what's its name, on uh, Tesla. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw in for Jeff in New Jersey. There is a perfect A, B, C, D. Now, here's a $1,000 stock you could trade without risking very much because what you're seeing here now, over the these, this is a 15-minute chart. So over the last five hours, it's made a perfect A, B, C, D right up there at uh, 10,070. It's a trading at 10,059 right now. So that's what that's how I look at that. Uh, so that's what we're paying attention to. Now, here's the next one we're going to take a look at is the old alphabet soup guy which is Google, and we want to get this up here so you'll see it. It's going nuts. It looks like uh, that's probably the, the one that's moving the NASDAQ the most today because we're, I think, we are within a heartbeat of new highs 
Uh, oh, yes, we are, because the high was 29. Yeah, we're within 10 points here. Let's get the one here on Google here. We're almost at new high ground, folks. That's uh, the last little pullback over the last few days was uh, four-day retracement at the 61% retracement. It looks like we're going to make new high in Google here. Whether it's a double top or not, don't really care. But here's one that is spot on that is really getting ready to uh, – do the old flying Walinda, in my opinion. And, of course, that and two cents will get you to the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, folks, let's take a look here uh, at the one second. This is uh, the old softy, old Microsoft. We are now setting at the 1.27 expansion of the whole move. Uh, we were then $2 of the 1.618 that came in at uh, 322 The 127 comes in at 324 So you got a $2, $2 window there. You got a big gap up today. Show me a gap that hasn't been filled here on Microsoft. So there's only one thing you can do here, folks. Sell, sell, sell with a stop at 327 Anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, in Microsoft. Now, here's one of our all-time favorites that just keeps giving gifts that we like, and that is the uh, – let's just get this up here so we'll be able to see it. This is the uh, chart of – oh, it's making another three-dry pattern. This is uh, – oh, let's get this up here. Hold on a second. This is interesting. Uh, we notice we broke down in the uh, – uh, after that 382 retracement came in at 343, we had that five day. We've broken down now. But now what we've done here is we've made a small uh, little three drive pattern here in the uh, uh, in this right below this. So we should, if, if any stock is probably going to hold up in here, it might be, it might be the, uh, remember this is short term too, folks. So that's all I can alert you but that that is a it's not a perfectly symmetrical three drive because of that a b leg on the first leg uh, the the next leg exceeds it to the upside so uh, scratch that folks that is not a three drive pattern that is because you got that higher high in the middle nope that's not it so don't uh, don't do don't do that the, the 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 microsoft trade is by far the much better trade selling it here at uh, 324 with a stop at 327. That's what I'll look at that one tomorrow. We have JC Parrots tomorrow of All Star Charts will be our guest. Okay, and then here's one of our all time favorites. And if you like Fibonacci numbers, this one's been doing it for so long that just uh, should call it Mr. Fibonacci because uh, we'll get this up here and you'll be able to see it quickly. Hold on. I've got to put the, the ratio in so that everybody can see it. And there we are here. And here we go with Apple. Any other questions, folks? It's 877-927-6648. We've been here now for one, two, three, four, five, six days at that 150 level, folks. So if we can get Microsoft, uh, Apple above 151, it's got some more to go to the upside. Otherwise, it's having trouble here. So let's remind ourselves that. We're going to take a little break here. Be right back, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back. I posted a chart of Amazon. You can see it's in a downtrend uh, from that head and shoulders pattern. And it's, uh, the last rally was right at the 78% uh, level. Now we're going to take a look at one that's uh, Netflix, which is completing so many patterns that it's uh, you could almost write a textbook about this. All right, if you'll take a look at this. Uh, Look at the ABCD patterns that are completing up here, folks. I mean, this is really quite uh, profound from the August low. You had a beautiful retracement there, 38%, right at the 569 level. That completed right up at the high at 675. That was the high, 675. The secondary ABCD has a high of uh, 669. We're trading at, uh, oh, my God, we're trading at, oh, dear, get the rosary beads out, folks. We're trading at 666, You can't make that stuff up. Holy cow. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's a, well, there's a sign of the devil today, folks. You don't have to risk more than 675 on that. Six, uh, yeah, 675 would, would be the stop on that one. But uh, that, that has a lot of ABCD patterns. Now, the reason why... If you look at this chart, you'll see the 135 pattern there. That that's really a, I mean it worked beautifully. Uh, went right down. It look look it stayed there for a whole month between July and August. It stayed right at the 61% retracement there at 505. I mean that that was uh, that was different than what happened at 3. You see how 3 just went down and completed an ABCD? That's not what happened. There's how you use these patterns because in in personal when I went to Chicago, uh, Barry Lind, who I cleared all our trades at Drexel, all of our meat trades and uh, uh, IMM stuff, we traded through uh, Lind Waldock. And uh, he said, what can I do to make your stay here in Chicago more fun and profitable? And I said, look, if I have a loss at the beginning of the third day, just take me out. Don't even ask me. Can you program that? And he said, that's, that's easy to do that. And about, I don't remember, it was several times, maybe half a dozen over the next couple of years, uh, I would have one of those where I would be in it at the beginning of the third day. You know, folks, if I would have just reversed on every single one of those, they would have made a lot of money. So these timing factors that I look at are pretty good. They don't work all the time, but if you add it all together, you got a big edge. That's that's what the whole thing is about. It's getting that little bit of an edge that uh, you try to get. Now, what happens is some days you get overtired. 
whatever it happens to be, you let your guard down, and that's where these things are. Unless it's all computer generated, and believe me, as you can see from this, from the stuff that I do here, I'm about as far from computer generated as you uh, that you as you can possibly get. So I'm aware of what the computers can do. Now, someone is. Uh, uh, Ruby's asking, tell, can I look at plat oh, platinum, please? <laughs> I thought it was platinum plus or some type of a weird stock. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ruby. Yes, we can look at platinum for you. Let's just get this up here for just a second here. And uh, <laughs> that's a good one, Ruby. Hold on a second here. Here's platinum. This is a uh, one that we've been waiting for. It's been dropping like we thought it would. Let's just get it out of the way here. Those of you that belong to the 24/7 or the newsletter already know this because we've been we've been doing this one for, for for quite some time here. Let me clean out these things. I want to show the the really nice uh, 382 retracement that we had here. So just get this up here. Let's take a little bit of a time frame here. One second, and I'll have her done. Oh. Uh, Okay, now then we're going to give us a, uh, you can see we complete the beautiful ABCD up there. And then uh, we're, the market's starting to move down. But what I would be watching for here, folks, I'm going to get this, clear this out to show you where the first support should come in and how these harmonic things work that Jeff talked about, because this is a really good example of how the harmony should work. Okay, now, if you'll just follow with me, defy human nature, stay awake for a few more minutes, and we'll try to give you some information maybe you've never seen before. That is an upsloping trend line, folks, because we've had higher bottoms and higher tops, okay? Now, the last correction in platinum went from 1,008 all the way down to 937. It dropped $70. The high here, the last high was at... Uh, 1080, 70 dollars off of that should take you down to right where we're looking at there at 590 right there, 990 right there. Now that's a 61 percent retracement. That would be a perfect valid trend line with perfect symmetry. Now, if you wanted to count the number of bars in the last time it dropped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it was down 10 days into October the 7th. Now, we're only into the fourth day here. Now, I don't know if this is going to last 10 days or not, but when it gets to that price, you know, we don't – when you're when you looking at your equity front uh, uh, run, folks, you don't see a time factor on there. All you see is dollars and cents. So you've got to rely on what the dollar and cents is, not the, not the timing of it. So you'd like to see it get down here real quietly the next five or six days, maybe by early Monday, and if you're sitting right there at 995 – then you've got perfect harmony, perfect symmetry, and you know exactly where you stand. Does it mean it's going to work? Absolutely not. But you know that if it doesn't work, you're going to know right away, just like in the hogs. You know, we, we thought the hogs were going to hold 7320, but 7340, whatever that number was. But once they went below 73, that said, uh oh, something's not right. Now, I don't even know where the hogs are trading today. Other, uh, early this morning, I know they were breaking below that level. So that, that's how you, that's what you try to do. Say it again one more time. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps, Ruby. Always glad to chip in for you, dear, because you always are a big supporter here at TFNN, and we, we certainly uh, appreciate it. So we've covered all of the ones. Uh, Microsoft, let's, now tomorrow, the one thing we have, J.C. Parrott's of uh, all-star charts with the, the trade we would have on today in here, selling softy at 324 with a buy stop at 327. We're going to see if that one works. Now, that could be, if it's correct, and the judge is still out on that, uh, that still could be a could be a, a long-term trade if it uh, holds up. So that's what we're watching here today. So that helps. Oh, well, Al says the, the phone lines. Hold on a second. I'm getting a quote on my hogs right now. They're at 7205 right now. They just, they just keep dropping. So... Thank you for the the, uh, the quote, Timmy. I appreciate it. Uh, but that's what we're paying attention here to today. Okay, let's move on one more time here. All righty here. Uh, oh, oh, the uh, the bonds, folks. Uh, we finally got up here. We've had that rally that we were expecting today. Just give me one second here. You'll be able to to see it here. Uh, uh, let me do the four hour. I think that would be easy to do. Just a second. Yeah, probably would be. Yeah, that shows this monster ABCD rally that we're having here. 
uh, right now. We've taken out the highs. We expected this, folks. I showed you on the Treasury note chart. That's why, because we had such a beautiful three drive. Uh, we didn't have a three drive here in the Treasury bonds, but we certainly did in the Treasury notes. But you'll notice here because the the bonds, the notes never made. Uh, or the bonds never made lower lows down in here. Did you see the bottom down there? Oh, I'm not even showing the chart. Hold on just a second. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Treasury bonds with a hypothetical three drive to a bottom pattern that we did not get. However, we in the one that is the, uh, the larger of the open interest, which is the largest commodity that we have, is the Treasury notes. And if we take a look here, and this was done in the newsletter. We did this on Friday on the daily basis in that red box. But there's the three drive pattern. Now, look, this to show you how weak the notes really are, folks. The notes are setting at the 61% retracement of the high on October the 14th. Treasury bonds have just taken that high out by about four ticks. So the Treasury bonds are much, much stronger than the Treasury notes. That doesn't mean the notes can't catch up, but right now that's what's happening. But this is a rally in a bear market. I don't believe it's a major bottom, possibly, but I don't think so. So let's keep our mind on that. <laughs> 
Tomorrow's guest will be J.C. Parrots of All-Star Charts. He'll be coming on at the beginning of the show at 11 o'clock tomorrow because his time for the first half hour of the day or that time of the day between 11 and 1130 is all the time we can get for him. So that's what we're sort of paying attention to. So let's keep our eye on the ball tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. I know there's time left in the uh, the show, but uh, that's the main thing that I wanted to uh, to share with you today was uh, what was happening with uh, this particular these particular markets to show the ones that worked the ones that didn't work and you know why they didn't work uh, that's the key here is to pay uh, you know close uh, close attention to them as we uh, start to uh, go through here and look at this so that's what we're watching uh, the natural gas keeps uh, backing off now the natural gas is now below the 61 percent of the early morning range folks that could be a a sign of some uh, serious weakness coming in so that one's working uh, relatively well too so let's uh, uh, watch that because if we get much below 590 that's ten dollars from where we are right now because we just hit the 78 percent level so we'll be recovering that we're watching microsoft for tomorrow folks to see how that thing would have worked out so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless mm -hmm.